What's up guys, this is Rick's Light signing in and welcome back to more Danganronpa V3. So, if you didn't know, at the end of the last video, Angie, well we found Angie dead in her art studio. Now, here's the kicker. Both doors to the art room are locked. And they can only be locked from the inside. So, my theory so far, is the door we went to was indeed locked until someone pried it open. But the other door was open. And someone snuck in from the outside, kept it open, and when they came in, they locked the door. That is my theory so far, or unless it's someone on the student council, but then that wouldn't make any sense. Anyway, let us pray for Angie. Was that Atua may guide her soul to the gates of heaven? Atua, please take care of Angie. It can't be. Hey, why did it end up like this? Did Angie have Atua with her? No. Clearly she didn't. Weird. That's not true. Angie say Atua will always by our side. We don't have time to be talking about this. Instead of talking about a tour. Yeah, we gotta talk about which one of us is the culprit and win this killing game. Wait, this this is part of the killing game? What else could it be? The fact that Angie's dead can only mean one thing. One of us killed her. But, but why would someone do such awful thing? Is that really what happened? Huh? Huh? Could it be? It's possible the couple who killed Angie wasn't one of us, but... Okay. The bitches have returned. Of course. Oh, green again. Alright, cool. A vomit-soaked entrance? How novel! And the pukey's green again, too! That's a pretty ominous sign! Why did another murder happen? What's the deal, Monadam? I thought you were gonna make everyone get along! Don't worry. Overcoming this will bring everyone closer together. That has been the case so far, yes? Their bond gets stronger with each class trial, does it not? Murders are necessary to bring everyone closer together. But how? So let's get started. We are all friends. Conduct a friendly investigation then. We will have a friendly class trial. We must distribute these first. Oh, look, the Monokuma file. I want to be the one to pass it out. Do you, didn't you want to do it too, Monofani? So. By the way, I've been thinking. You guys should knock off all this killing and dying. Dying is, like, so late. Living is all the rage these days. And it's green again. Ah, more green puke! This is really unlucky. So long, farewell. Okay. Fair enough. So then, as there is no use complaining, we are better off beginning our investigation. So, everyone, we all know what we need to do, yes? Yeah. Yep, I mean, by the third by the third murder, we should all be pretty used to dead Wait. bodies. No, not Gunther. No way Gunther ever get used no. to this. Trust me, you don't want to be used to this. No one should get used to this. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice and all, but it seems pretty insincere coming from an assassin. Unfortunately. Let's start investigating. It's not like we have any other choice. Right. That's true. But still, it's strange. This is a bizarre setup. Four wax figures, effigies of the dead, hung upside down in the room. And in the middle, Angie's body in a pool of blood. It certainly appears to be some kind of ritual. Alright, bro. I'm counting on you as my sidekick. Let's send this nightmare together. Okay. Yeah, but are you feeling okay, Kaito? Okay. We seriously don't have time to be talking about this. No way we're gonna die here. I'm definitely gonna find the culprit. Like... The culprit? Is it really someone among us that killed Angie? <laughs> I get how you feel, Sumiki, but do you have to repeat that tired old line every time? Oh no, that's not it. I mean... Could this have been the work of the transfer students? Huh? 
And she prepared the ritual in this room to resurrect the dead, right? And she made those wax dolls hanging upside down as part of the ritual. Maybe the ritual succeeded and the resurrected person killed her. Hey. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shut up already. What? It's her fault. It's all these scary stories out of nowhere like that. Saying messed up stuff like that. Uh, um, Kaido, are you alright? Sure, s sorry Shuichi. Need to get some fresh air. I'll leave this to you and Maki. Do a good job, you guys. Kaito left, still a bit wobbly. <sighs> Do a good job. That coward has a lot of nerve bossings around. Maybe that wasn't the best way to phrase it. But he just wants to encourage. Jeez. You've clearly settled right into your psychic role. It's okay. I don't need him to give me orders. With so few people left, I can't afford to sit anyone out anymore. Well, so where should we start? We should check the Monokuma file first, right? right. Yes, let's take a look. Okay. Bloop, bloop. The victim is Anji Yunaga, the ultimate artist. <clears throat> the body was found in the ultimate artist lab. The time of death is approximately 2 in the morning. Okay, the cause of death is a stab wound to the back of the neck. The forehead also has a laceration. Okay, so she was struck over the head with blunt force trauma and then stabbed in the neck. So I'm assuming then she was knocked out on the head. Only knocked her out. And to just to make sure he got plunged into the neck with something? Hmm. The Monokuma file in included the time of death this time. 2am. Everyone must have been asleep. We probably can't rely on witnesses, witness testimonies. So the murder happened in night time after all. If everyone had followed the shooting council's rules like Kanji Natua said. <laughs> what good will saying that do? The cupboard may be one of the student council. Yes. Why? The member of the student council? That's... Right. We should go and figure that out. Let's start investigating and solve this mystery together. It's impossible. I can't. Himiko? Himiko! I can't do it. I can't investigate Angie's body. But if we don't make it through the class trial, then everyone will die. Whatever. I don't care anymore. Huh? What? Surviving and everything else? It's too much of a pain. Then why don't we just use your magic to revive Please Angie? Stop. This is no time for your mean-spirited taunts. Reviving her is clearly impossible. Is that so? We cannot say that for certainty, though. Huh? Excuse me? Well, of course resurrecting her is impossible. But I know a way we can speak with Angie. You see? We can summon her spirit with the seance called the Caged Child. What seance? Are you trying to pull? The seance? What are you talking about? Cut it out already. Me. Yeah, this is no time I for jokes. Serious. Oh, I'm serious. This is for our investigation. Huh? For our investigation? Yes. If we speak with Angie, we can ask her who the culprit is and bring this case to a swift close. Oh, no. First a resurrection ritual and now a seance? Are you messing with us? <laughs> I would appreciate it if you didn't compare it to Monokuma's foolishness. Seances are genuine occurrences. They are written of in literature the world over. In fact, I myself have participated in seances a great many times. Many times? <laughs> On top of that, we have here a rare chance to perform the legendary seance, the caged child. It would be foolish not to take advantage of this, yes? No. No, no matter how you put it, now's not the time for something. Oh, I suspect the only way to confirm your earlier theory is by performing the seance. Yes? My earlier theory? The possibility of the culprit being the resurrected transfer student. It is not wise to go into the class trial with such outlandish theories in one's head. So to prove such a thing impossible, I think it best we consult Angie herself. That logic is peculiar, to say the least. Hold on, holding a seance to find out about the ritual. So we're going to find the occult with the occult? Okay. Well, we can't worry about this forever, so we might as well go with the easiest How solution. Exciting. Okay, I'll help out. I was getting bored of investigating anyway. Huh? Mm. I'll help too. Huh? 
Huh? You too, Miku? If I can talk to Angie one more time, I'll do anything. If stay on slow, whatever it takes, I'll do it. Well. I'll help out as well. I can't leave Miko alone. Whatever you want. Do whatever you yes. want. Okay, I will. So now we have our four participants. Kokichi, Himiko, Tenko, and myself. However, the gauge child requires five people. We're still one short. Fine. Then Kiwai can come too. I guess we can't be picky. Why am I being forced to participate and being treated like a burden? So then, we need a place to perform the seance. Where shall we do it? How about your lab? Uh, no. In order for the cage child to succeed, the room must be as dark as possible. My lab has windows, so turning the lights off won't make it quite dark enough. Then how about the empty rooms? That's... Empty rooms? The ones on the fourth mm. floor? There aren't any windows there. So if we blow out the candles, it should be pitch dark. Yeah. Sure, I'm fine That's with that. Enough. I agree with Himiko. However, there are three empty rooms. Which one shall we use? Um, the middle room. The middle room's always best for stuff I like see. this. Yes. Very well. I shall begin the preparations at once. I shall have the new four help as well. Let us carry all the necessary equipment for my uh, lab. Um, are you really going to do this? Understand. This is for our investigation. I said as much, did I not? <laughs> we need to use all our effort to discover the culprit, lest our lives be lost. He's talking hell of a lot. Kyo, Kokichi, Kibo, Tenko, and Himiko all left the scene. This is stupid. Are they serious about this stupid seance? But... Perhaps they're just part of the investigation. In their eyes, we should go with it. In any case, I should focus on what I can do. Or the ultimate detective can do. Okay. We've looked at the Monokuma Kuma file file. Oh, right. Okay, so... the Can we leave or can we check the door? Okay, it's unlocked but nothing peculiar. Okay. <clears throat> this door is the lab's back door. The door is has a sliding lock and it's still locked. That's true. And because no one has used this door, I remembered. And since we came in here, I believe Angie locked the door when she came in, and it's been locked ever since. Oh, wait. What's this? Look, there's something gold and shiny on the tab of the sliding lock. Gold and shiny? Could it be... Is that all right? Maki, may I see it for a minute? I want to try moving the sliding lock. You want to unlock it? Go ahead. Do what you want. I carefully touched the knob of the lock, avoiding the gold parts, and softly slid the lock open. Click. Okay. Just as I suspected, this lock was slammed without much effort. Click. Hmm. Whether you lock it or unlock it, this could be an important clue. Okay, that's that sorted. Nice. Well. I'm curious about the rear door too, but there's something else that bothers me. The lock on the front door that we used went to this room. Should we investigate the front door too? I'm gonna take a closer look at it. Maki walked over to the front door. Okay, so she's by the front door, so I can talk to her in a minute. Why can't I check the dead bodies? Or the sword for that matter. Interesting. Alright, cool. We'll talk we'll look at the room first, and then we'll talk to everybody. Angie's body. She's laying face down in the middle of the room. What's wrong? Are you going to take a closer look? Uh, okay. Y yes, I was planning to. And let's hurry up and do it. We can't afford to waste any time here. Maki didn't hesitate. She stepped past me and walked over to the body. She has no problem with dead bodies. She is the ultimate assassin. Okay. Cool. Ah. Ah! Now I can look at the effigies. Alright, cool. The four effigies hung upside down makes this scene particularly eerie. <clears throat> Ropes are dangling from the exposed beams on the ceiling. If I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, Angie made all these wax figures. Is this rope from the warehouse? Right. I believe so. And that means they won't be much of a clue. Anyone could have gone and gotten these ropes. 
Maybe the student council should have blocked the warehouse instead of the manhole. The warehouse does contain plenty of things that can be used for murder. Uh, um... Anyway, I know that these effigies are just wax, but it still creeps me out. That's true. The effigies look exactly like real people. Not just their faces, but their bodies too. The ultimate artist certainly the ultimate artist certainly was talented. By the way. By the way, why is this effigy hanging upside down? Is this part of the ritual? Hmm. I'm not so sure. What is it? If it's not, then why is it like this? Who'd go out of their way to hang a wax effigy? Right. If you're going to do this much work, there must be some reason for it. What could it be? Who would do this? The culprit? Angie? Or someone else entirely? Okay, does that classify for all of them? Or not? The four FGs hung up from the rubber ceiling supposed beams, white speakers are definitely the same ones Angie made, but why are they hung up why are they hung up? Is this part of the resurrection ritual or is this another purpose? It would take a lot of work to hang all these up. This that implies there was a reason behind it. But what is that reason? And who did it? The culprit, Angie or someone else entirely. Is that the same for all three of all four of them though? I don't know. Uh, the four FGs hung upside down exposed beams, yeah. Okay, they're all the same. Cool. Alright, we've got the Necromonic on, so let's have a look at this next. And we'll look at Angie. Ah, this book! <clears throat> the instructions for the resurrection ritual are written in the Necromonic Art. Ooh! By performing the ritual as written, you can resurrect one deceased victim. <clears throat> this was the motive. The Necronomicon. And you tried to perform the ritual written in the book. Right. Okay. Yes. If you look at this book, we should learn the steps from the ritual she was trying to perform. Let's take a look. The Necromonicon uh, Resurrection Ritual. Prepare an effigy of the dead soul you wish to contact. Everyone may participate. The size and shape of the effigy is irrelevant. Make it out how whatever materials you wish. If it's not obvious who the effigy is supposed to be, label it with the name of the deceased. After preparing the effigy, Burn this Necromonicon to ashes. Use caution. Be mindful of carbon monoxide poisoning. Sprinkle the ashes on the effigy and repeat the name of the deceased three times. Then close your eyes and wait. After a while, you should feel a light tap on your back. If so, that means the ritual was a success. The ashes are only good for one use. The ritual can only be performed once, so use it wisely. So these are the steps for the resurrection ritual. And you really, really believed in this crap. It's pretty obvious that you wouldn't be able to resurrect anyone with it. With this, on normal circumstances, I'm sure that's true. But in this place, I don't think we can rule anything out. Necromonicon. Okay, cool. I need a body. There's blood dripping from Angie's head. According to the Monokuma file, she sustained a stab wound in the back of the neck as well as a laceration on her forehead. The killing blow was a single stab to the back of the neck. A sneak attack, most likely. Yeah. And then what do you make of this wound on her forehead? Maybe the culprit hit her in the head before stabbing her from behind. But her two wounds are substantially different. Did the culprit change weapons mid-attack? Oh, yeah. I suppose that would be unnecessary. Remember. Also, the wound on her forehead looks deep, but it's not bleeding much. What is going on with these two wounds? A forehead injury has been added. Huh? What's wrong, Maki? Move. Maki pushed me aside, then lifted Angie's body up by the shoulder. What's this doing crumbling underneath her body? What is it? This is duct tape, right? What's duct tape doing uh, here? Um... I don't know, but it must be related to the case. Look, there are hers stuck to the tape. Long hairs. Angie's, right? Bloody the tape with Angie's hair on it. What could that mean? Bloody tape. I'm surprised you spotted this Maki. It was hidden under her body. It was partially visible. As a detective, you should have noticed it before I did. Okay. Ah, well, that's true. Well, even so, I guess you're still getting used to being around dead bodies. So don't beat yourself up over okay. it. 
Well then, it's a good thing you're used, used to corpses, Maki. Do you wanna die? Huh. Do you wanna die? I'm sorry. Sorry. Joking. I couldn't Bad resist. Enough? You don't need to apologize. I was joking too. That doesn't sound like a joke, though. Alright, cool. We can back away from the body. Right, let's talk to all the people in the room. See where we can go. Why? A murder at night time is strange. Unpossible, Why? even. Why do you think right. that? Because student council made rule that we can be outside. No can be outside. During night time. Everyone should should have been asleep. No way murder could... No way murder could have happened at night time. Do you really think everyone would get along with that rule? What? But it's a tour's rule. And you say he punish us if we not follow his rules. But... But the student council wasn't included in that, correct? But they could do what they wanted. Angie was also working here at what? night. Huh? She was? What? No way. Student council would never break own rules. I... They should have been asleep in own rooms to set good example to others. <sighs> Maybe Angie got attacked while she sleep in her room and got Protea. If so, Gunther could, could have saved her. If only Gunther saw. But Gunther was sleeping. Sorry, Angie. Gunther no could save you. I find it hard to believe that no one went outside in spite of the student council rule. Okay, well, he's... I think Gunther's safe from this one. Um, um, I'm not sure if it's okay to say this or not, but could Tenko be the culprit? Huh? Tenko? Oh, he's not like you have proof or anything, but earlier I heard Imiko say that Tenko was trying to betray the student council. No. So you used by Tenko? Because as a member of the student council, she would have been allowed into this lab. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> That's right. Angie did allow members of the student council to enter the lab. Oh. Yeah, Angie had been shut away with her here working on the ritual by herself since yesterday. She said she would only unlock the door if she heard a student council member's That's voice. True. That would certainly point to Tenko. She did betray the student council after all. No. It's not that I want to suspect Tenko, but since only student council members would have been left in here. So why you left in student council members? That would be Gunter, Kibo, Himiko, Tenko, and Sumigi. Of that group, Tenko is certainly the most suspicious. Okay, so means the count is in, in consideration. Sup, girl? Damn, you magnifying, girl. Damn! <laughs> this busty, brainy beauty has this all figured out. Huh? huh? You mean, you know who the culprit is? Huh? The culprit? Fuck that! Hey. Shuichi, do we really have the time to listening to her? Wait! Hey, hey, wait! Wait, God damn it! Are you just gonna ignore my genius idea? What? Just listen to me, okay? Come on, listen to me. Listen. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> well, if you're gonna twist my arm, then I'll tell you. You better thank me for this. You know. I know y'all are dumber than fleas, but even you get how weird these wax dolls are, right? They are strange. Are they for the ritual or another Whoa, purpose? Yeah. But I figured out with just one glance, these are diversions. Divergence? Yep, the culprit used these wax dolls to distract us from something. You got a minute? What do you mean by that? What? How should I know? Isn't that Sherlock Homo's job? You're a waste of time. Maki turned and walked away. I can't say what I blame her. Huh? The hell's her problem? Is she on the rag or something? Hmm. So Angie made these wax dolls, huh? The resemblance is pretty uncanny. They say the devil's in the details, you know? Let's just see how detailed these really are. Hey! Mew tried to look up the wax figure's hey. skill. What are you doing? Stop that! <laughs> what? what? I just wanted to see if this doll was wearing panties. Um. Oh, wait. Do you have a doll fetish? Are you excited that your dead girlfriend is a doll now? Fucking virgin. If you like wax dolls so much, then go fuck the doll already. I'm starting to agree with Maki. Talking to me was a waste of time. Well, that didn't bring any information. Now, I will say Mew is an absolute babe in this game, but Maki? Maki's the real babe. I just want to confirm something. When we got to this lab, you sure that the front door was locked? Yes, I'm positive. 
I grab the knob and try to turn it. Click, 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 click. <clears throat> it really is locked. I knew it. The front entrance was locked until Kokichi picked the lock open to open it. Kokichi pulled out some thin needles and stuck them into the keyhole of the lock. Click, click, click. Click, click, click. Click, 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 click. There! Open says me. <clears throat> so I picked this cylinder lock open. Do you think anyone else could have opened the locks besides him? It would have been possible from the outside. The monocups took the key. Okay, here it is! But there's only one key, so don't lose it! It'd be bad if you lost it! Okay, never mind, this is a flashback. You wouldn't be able to lock the door or open it from the outside. Let me see that key. Monogam swiped the key from Monofani, then lifted it into his mouth. No. Oh, yeah! Then... So Keech is the only one who could have opened or closed the door from the outside, right? Hmm. Correct. Only Kukichi would have been able to open the open and close the door from outside. But someone inside could have opened and closed it as huh? they pleased. So the front door was locked from the inside no. of the room. Not necessarily. I'm just thinking of possibilities. But in that case, the question becomes how the person who locked the doors got out. How the culprit got out of the classroom after locking the doors. Okay. Still, it's strange the front door and back door have different locks. The front door that we came in from has a cylinder lock. And the reader over there has a sliding lock. But by the time we discovered the body, both doors were locked. In other words, this is what you might call a locked room mystery, right? Locked, huh? Well, guess I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Better get a workout in. Yes, the cylinder lock's key was taken by the monocups, so both doors could only be locked from the inside. But only if you allow Kokichi's lock picking, right? He could have picked the cylindrical lock on the front door to get in and out of the lab. So he could have created this locked room mystery. It's possible that he locked the door from the outside by picking it after he killed Angie. I remember correctly. That's, That's true. Right. Also, he appeared in an oddly convenient time when we tried to enter the lab ourselves. I knew it. He's clearly suspicious. It is suspicious, but that solution seems a little too convenient. Kokichi lock picking has been added. Oh? Like what? For example, can I check the door again? So a lot, but I think there are still things to investigate here. Like, is there something else on Angie we need to sort too? Did I not check? Should I check all the dolls? Is there anything in the rafters I need to check? Well, the only thing I'm not check. Oh. I didn't check the katana! <clears throat> a katana stabbed into Kaide's wax Damn effigy. It. Who did this? And why? Me. Let me see. Maki nudged me aside, then gripped the katana and pulled it out of the effigy. Oh. Ooh. Ah, wait! This is a crime scene, you can't- You want to check the katana, right? Well, you can't do it if you don't pull it out. Ah, uh, yes. True, but we have to preserve the scene. Maki paid no mind to my protest. I set the katana for a while. Is this... It's a real katana. But there's gold leaf on uh, it. Okay. Uh, yeah. I believe it's the one that was di on display in the Ultimate Anthropologist Lab. Mm. Mm, is that so? Okay. We can probably assume that this is the murder weapon, judging from the bloodstain on the tip. The edge is too rusty to cut well, but it would be enough to stab. But, but why would they go through the effort of using this as the murder that's weapon? True. Good question. They could have gone to my lab and grabbed a more suitable could weapon. It be... Perhaps it's because Kyo's lab is on the same floor. They just grab something else close by? They may be in uh... a hurry. Or maybe they need a long weapon like huh? this. A long weapon? My lab doesn't contain swords or any other weapons for this of huh? this length. Ah, That's really? Good. I'm not sure how Monokuma found out, but he must know I don't use swords for work. 
When I first started, started working, I botched a mission using the katana. I haven't used those swords since, which is fine because they're a hassle to carry anyway. I suppose everyone's life is suited to them personally, just like Angie's was. But how did they know all this? Anyway, the gold leaf on this katana flakes off easily. It's all over my hand now. Okay. It must be pretty old for the gold leaf to flake off that easily. Why didn't you say so earlier? My hands are all sticky now. I'll have to wash them later. Maki scolded me, then stood in front of hey. Kaede's effigy. I'm going to put the katana back where we found it. It was too hard to watch. Look away. Uh, okay. Ah, thank you. <laughs> I averted my gaze and Maki stabbed the katana back into the wax effigy. <clears throat> By the way. Even so, why was a weapon stabbed into the wax effigy? The hanging wax effigy, no less. Was it part of the ritual? Or was the culprit trying to hide the murder weapon? Perhaps they had no intention of hiding it. They didn't even wipe off the blood. Besides, I'm certain there are better ways to hide the murder what weapon than this. And then what's the reason for this? Yes. I honestly have no idea. Well, we should investigate where the weapon came from. We might find a clue there. Okay. Build Spencephologist Lab. Yes, let's do that. I want to make sure the katana in ca indeed came from that room. God leave katana! Yeah, if you look at the door and that, it kind of makes sense what's going off. What was used? There's still more things to investigate? Like what? Can I investigate the door again if I'm close to Angie? Surely not, right? Do I need to talk to this douchebag? Is that all they needed to do? Hmm, there's still more things to investigate. Can I try the back door again then? Storage last back door. Sliding lock, I suppose. There's nothing else called and shiny. The monitor, maybe? So I for the communications, nothing important. Do I talk to Miu again? Ha, fucking virgin! Fucking pervert, if you like wax doll so much, then go fuck the doll already. Nope, that wasn't it. Hmm, do I talk to Maki again? By the way. Strange from the bit different locks. The front door that we came from, the back door, okay. by the time we discovered under normal circumstances, Kokichi. Okay. I genuinely don't know what I'm missing in here. I really don't know. Is it something on the body itself? <clears throat> oh, the pool of blood. I didn't know this was a, a separate thing. A small pool of blood has em emanated from Angie's torso. This can't be from her forehead. This blood is from the back of her neck. And this blood is dry. It must have been spilled a few hours before Angie was killed. Maybe more. That fits the 2am time of death less than the Monokuma file. Hmm. His body appears to be exactly described the Monokuma file. Hmm. There were several clues that caught my attention, but I can't draw any conclusion yet. If we think about all the evidence in combination, this might tell us something. Let's continue the investigation for now. Uh, um, Monkey, what's so wrong? What? It's not that important, but... The only time you're reliable is when you're investigating a crime scene. Mm. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Like know. Who knows? You're certainly more reliable than Kaido. Or Kaido, at least. That guy is useless. Anyway, let's continue. Now can I leave? I think we finished investigating everything for now. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Is this really the time to rest? I don't think we've found enough clues yet. But I don't know how much time we have left to investigate. So we need to hurry up. You're right. Ah, you're right. First we should investigate the ultimate anthropologist lab. We may find a clue related to the That's katana. True. That's true. We need to check if the katana really did come from that place. Hmm. Is something wrong, Maki? It just occurred to me. Why am I acting like your partner? Sure, whatever. Well, it's fine. Just don't get used to it. 
So as if I asked you, but it's fine by me. It's true that Marky is a tremendous help to me. There we go. Now I can leave. I can go to the anthropologist lab. Yay! That took a while to investigate. When we get to the uh, class trial, though, that's the end of the video for this time. We can uh, do the first half of the class trial when we return from Silent Hill. Okay, that's Hanging Scroll. We can sort that out in Chapter 4, I think, maybe? Question mark? I don't fucking know. The Anthropologist Lab. Nice. Niceness. Noiceness. No, 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 nice. Oh, ha. Huh. If I remember correctly, the gold leaf katana is from. Uh, there. It's just the sheath. Earlier, the katana was inside okay. the sheath. Maki, the gold leaf katana definitely came from here. I'm certain That's of it. True. Doesn't that make Kyo suspicious? But this is his research lab after no. all. Not necessarily. Anyone could have come in here and taken That's it. True. Fair enough. Anyone could have done the same with my lab, too. Gold leaf katana. Oh! Ah, thank you. Oh, what are you guys doing here? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be helping with a seance? <laughs> you look so disgusted right now. Then again, I guess that is your signature look. Anyway. anyway, I forgot to bring something we need for the seance, so I came back to get it. Something for the seance? Yeah. Yep, that white sheet over there. We brought the wooden dog statue in the cage already, but I guess we need that sheet too. What is it? I don't get it. Why do you guys need a cage and a wooden dog statue? And a white sheet. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me! I don't know why we need that stuff either! So that means... That's why I figured I'd do a little research on this science before I got the sheet. Study? Um... So, let's see. Kokichi took a look around and... I heard it was like some kind of handmade book. Oh, is this yeah. it? Yep, it says Cage Dog Village right here on the cover. So this must be it. Hmm. Let's see, what did it say about the Cage Child Seance? Could get you flip through the old book and picked up. Oh? Sorry, I'm yawning all today. Is it this page? It's hard to read, but I can see the Cage Child is mentioned here. Yeah. He was drawing the same magic circle and the one in this picture. Um. Okay, let's see. In order to perform the caged child, you need five people, including the spirit medium, and a dark place with if no I light. Correctly. Just like Kyo said. First, draw the magic circle passed down from the caged dog village on the ground. In the center of the circle, then s the, the spirit medium must kneel, curl like a turtle. Rest, of their, rest their forehead on a stone on the ground. Afterward, the other four participants must put the iron cage over the spirit medium and cover it with a white sheet. And finally, the dog, the dog god must be placed on top of the cage. Also, he says we can't step on the magic circle during preparations. Uh, um, the dog god? Do you mean the wooden dog yeah. statue? When preparations are complete, turn out all the lights to create complete darkness. The seance will begin with the four participants are each standing at a corner of the room. The four participants, not including the spirit medium, will sing the caged child song. After the song, ask, is the chi caged child? Then say the name of the spirit. The spirit medium will reply in the voice of the summoned spirit, and that's all it says. <sighs> that sounds complicated. Right. Complicated plans have a better chance of working out in the end, wouldn't you say? Hmm. Whether it works or not, he has been wanting to conduct the seance for a while. Since I was a fortunate enough to obtain one of those copies, I already memorized it. But I never never thought I'd be able to lay eyes on the real one. What a trick of fate. Right? Oh yeah, he said he memorized every word of it too. That's probably why I left the book here, because he can conduct the sounds without it. Is it even possible? Turns out to Angie's <laughs> ghost. If you're curious, why don't you join us, Chuichi? Huh? You should see how it plays out without your own eyes. See? There's still time, you know. The sense hasn't even started yet. Maybe it's better if you join them. You think so? I don't understand. Well, I'm not going. I don't believe in seances. 
But whether you believe it or not, as a detective, you should be there to observe what happens. As a detective, okay. huh? Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> now you're talking! Alright! <clears throat> well, I'll be waiting for you. Or, of the three empty rooms, we're in the middle one. Kikichi spoke as though he was inviting me to play, and then left the room. The K child has been added to the truth police station. See you later, Maki. Love you. You're my wife in this game. One with Mew, but Mew for different reasons. Because he's fucking smoking. Right, the third door, yes? It is the medium door. Okay. Ooh, who am I replacing, Kibo? Hello. So Kokichi tells me you wish to participate in the seance as well, Shuichi. You are most welcome to join us. Oh. Is that is what I would like to say, however. Only five, including the spiritual medium, may join. Oh man. Oh man, what a shame. Well, Keyboy, you're out. W why me? Hmm. I agree with Kokichi. I was thinking this for a while. Robots and seances don't mix. They're like toothpaste and orange juice. To be honest, I had the same thought. Your help was appreciated, Kibo. Oh, you? Don't you, any of you feel guilty for kicking me out of after forcing me to come? That's why we're apologizing! Me. No one's apologized yet! Oh, man. Fine, fine, our bad. Just don't get mad and start shooting electromagnetic waves at us. How rude! Why would I do that? Stop, Stop whining, Kibo. I want to start the seance as soon as possible. <laughs> Fine. But I won't forget this portrayal, Shuichi. What did I do? So then... So now Shuichi has joined us. First, some warnings. Do you understand? Do not enter the magic circle that I have drawn on the floor. It is drawn with purifying salt, so it is easily disturbed when stepped oh. upon. You drew this magic circle with That's salt? Correct. I always use salt for magic circles. It makes seances more likely to succeed. Well then. Also, it's dark in here, so be sure to watch your step. If the magic circle is broken, not only will the seance fail, but it may also unleash a curse. Okay. G got it. I'll be careful. I'm surprised you were able to draw this without even looking at the Do picture. I have the entire document memorized, so this magic circle would be perfect. Of course, I also have the Kate Child song memorized. You must do the same. Do you understand? I have copied the words to the song down here. Please commit it to memory. Everyone else has already memorized it, after all. You'll be able to read in the dark. Huh? You, we have to memorize the lyrics now? You're a detective, so I expect your memory to be up to the task. Here is the melody. I listened to Kyo sing the song and did the best to memorize the melody and lyrics. Okay. Alright, I think I've got it now. Your memory is extraordinary. You are indeed the ultimate detective. Well then. Well then, let us begin the ritual right How away. Exciting. Yay, we finally get to see Angie! Before that, let's choose a spiritual medium. I would work best with a girl. Then I'll do it. I can't think of anyone but me that Angie's spirit which should no. go in. No, I'll do it. Because if you're the spirit medium, you won't be able to talk to Angie. Okay. Yeah? That's right. You want to talk to Angie, right? Then I'll be the spirit medium. That way you can say goodbye to her. And after you finish saying your goodbyes, keep your chin up and live life facing forward. Survive with me and everyone else. Please. Thank you. By the way. Also, Himiko, let me say this one thing. Expressing your feelings is perfectly natural. You shouldn't feel ashamed at all. So if you feel like crying while you're talking to Angie, go ahead and cry your eyes out. You'll feel better when you do. Well, I mean, laughing makes you feel better too. And venting your anger onto something can really cheer you up. Train your heart by crying, laughing, and venting your anger, Himiko. I think you've trained too much. <laughs> you're probably right. It seems like the two of them made up. That's good. So then... So now that we've decided on a spiritual medium, let us begin. Yes. Alright, Himiko, see you later! This would be now so much fucking better if it was a cutscene. Spirit medium Tenko to sit within the center circle. 
I don't get his voice down, but I can get a close accurate. Please be sure to walk on the path so as not to disturb the magic circle. Mm -hmm. Make sure you watch your steps since it's so dark in here. Next, you must be as a turtle within that circle. Oh, crap, stop. Please rest your forehead upon this stone marker I've placed here. It's just it's weird, my head's warm, my body's cold. Courtyard. Are you sure it'll work? Will it work? Certainly. It is merely needed as a marker for her forehead to rest upon. Um, like this? Well, if you told me that, this I, yeah. This may be uncomfortable, but please endure it until the seance is complete. Whatever you do, you mustn't raise your head or change positions. Piece of cake! I have five-star flexibility! Damn, girl! So then... Starting now, the rest of us must go to work. There are many things left to be done. Let's see. First, we must place the iron cage atop Tenko. I shall leave that to Chuichi and Kokichi. And please keep in mind, walk carefully as to not disturb the magic circle. Yeah. Okay, you can count on me. It may not look like it, but I'm actually super duper strong. Supreme leader. After all. I shouldn't have lied. I'm way too weak. <laughs> For this kind of stuff. See, the thing is, he doesn't lie all the time, <laughs> but he does it's most lying. of the time. No wonder it's heavy. Hold on! Don't just drop it on top of me. <laughs> I know. It wouldn't be very funny if a body discovery announcement happened during this. <laughs> wow! Fuck it. Well, these two. Don't jinx us. <laughs> I'm tired. So next, we cover the basket with a white cloth, right? I'm very confused. Very confused. I shall take that role. Okay. All right. Everything is prepared. Tenko, how are you doing? Well, I can only see the floor from this position, but I think I'm fine. The final step is to place the wooden statue of the dog god atop the cage. Okay. The four of us may need to do this together. The statue is quite heavy. So why don't you bring Kibo along then to help you lift all this stuff? <laughs> Let me go try and get Even past. with four people, it's still really heavy. Four people? Let's call it three, alright? Kyoko, one person. Shuichi, one person. Kokichi, half. <laughs> Emiko. Oh, holy crap, this weighs a ton! I'll change that a little bit. I hate Kokichi, I'll give him three quarters, and Himiko can be a quarter person. <laughs> Because, you know what, it's one of those things. No, it is not much more than 175 pounds. Oh my god, it's a figure of speech, you fuckhead. Oh, I'm totally wiped. I could have used my magic to carry it easily, but seances and magic don't mix. Just an excuse for everything. Are you sure it's okay to put something so heavy on top of the cage? The iron cage was made specifically for seances. So it can hold this weight. Okay. I guess that's fine then. Now, let us exit the magic circle. Take care to avoid disturbing it. No, oh, did Himiko just stand in that picture? So then... This is the point of no return. Tenko, after this point you mustn't speak. The next time you open your mouth, it'll be Angie speaking through you. Understood. I will not say word until the seance is over. Okay, everyone. I'll see you guys after the seance. Well, then. The rest of us shall move to the corners of the room. Please go to one of your choosing. As you can see, one of the... And then he has to stand with the arrow resist. Oh, no, 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 never mind. He stood over there. Okay. We stood in a different corner. Now we darken the room. Kokichi and Shuichi are closest to the candles. Please blow out the candles. You should be able to follow the walls in the dark. So go back to the corner of the room after it's dark. Okay, got it. You needn't move, Himiko. There are many gaps in the floor near you. Yeah, got it. Once the room is dark, I will begin the song. Please sing along with me. Then, I will call out to Angie. Until she replies, there must be silence. 
After the seance is done, Shuichi and I are supposed to light the candles again, right? Correct. I brought matches from the warehouse, so please use those. Okie dokie, then I'll blow out the candle now. Oh, sorry, I did it too early. I walked up the closest candle and blew out the flame. There we go, that's better. <laughs> now to do it right. The room instantly fell into complete darkness. Pitch black darkness. So dark, I couldn't even see my own body. Overcoming my instinctual fear of the dark, I moved along the wall back to my corner. Then began the singing. At last, at last, at long last. Keel led us in the cage child song. Young are dark and little lost girl Sealed within an iron cage This has very many, many sound like Sleeping Priestess from um, Table Frame 3. Oh, I hate it. At mountain's bottom Within the darkness At last, at last, at long last Sleep, priestess, lie in peace How many will there be by dawn? Will there be two or just one? It has the same melody, it's fucking weird. Kathunk? Will the guard dog run far away? Or did it eat the little girl? At last, at last, at long last. Well, this one's not going to get stuck in my head, so that's good. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> Reach out and touch wrath. Or was it wraith? I said wrath. Wraith? I don't know. We finished singing the song, but I thought I heard an odd sound in the middle of it. What was okay. that? Is the cage child, Anji Yonaga. He began calling. Now if the medium answers. Say. Is the cage child, Anji Yonaga. What's going on? Say. Is the child cage Angie Yonaga? What's the matter? What's wrong? Why won't Angie Hold enter? On. Himiko, I was very clear that you were not to speak. Yes. Mm. But something's weird. Why won't she answer? Um, Maybe it failed? Let's see. Let's light the candles huh? briefly. What? Is that okay? Yeah. Just for now. Confused, I walk along the wall back to the candle. I manage to drag a match and light the candle once again. Hmm. Hey, what's going on? Did it really fail? That shouldn't be the case. The seance was perfect. Is Angie now coming? Is that still Tenko in there? Hmm. Tenko? I see, yes. Uh, I told her that she mustn't speak until the spirit enters her. <laughs> she follows orders well, but how about we let her out for Hold now? Hold on. Wait. Dark arts such as this need to be started and completed the same way. Those who remove objects from the magic circle must be the same who brought them in. If not, the spirit may still, may still be in the medium's body. Yeah. Seeing as how this was a failure, I don't think any spirit is sticking around, but whatever. I can see that board looking a bit different. <clears throat> just like setting up, Kyo instruct. Just like setting up, Kyo instructed us how to clean everything up. We were careful to remove everything exactly in the order Kyo directed. Now I will, now I will remove, remove the sheet. Kyo pinched the fabric gently and pulled oh. it aside. Oh, oh, sorry, we're reading that myself. Perhaps something is amiss. <laughs> Himiko ran toward the cage at a sprint. 
Himiko, I told you not to step on the... But she wasn't listening. She jumped onto the cage and... The tangle! Mm. Fueled by desperation, Himiko grabbed the cage and lifted it up. She did it all on her own? Damn. A body has been discovered! <laughs> really? Who would have thought there'd be another victim during the investigation? Maybe Montefani's green puke was predicting this tragedy. <laughs> oh, it's brown now. Ah. Oh, the puke's color is normal now. I guess it was predicting oh, this. Now. Everyone, please assemble in the seance room. <clears throat> The second body discovery announcement played. It didn't take long for everyone to come running. We oh, even need to end up. What? Tenko? Seriously? <laughs> what is this? How did this happen? Did this happen? Tenko, Gunter so sorry. Gunter no could protect you. Got a minute? Shuichi, explain the situation. I thought you were conducting the seance. What happened? Well, I don't know what what's happening. Okay, the bitches are back. Great. What on earth? I'm surprised too. I never thought a murder would happen during an investigation. Um, um, I guess for now you should maybe start the investigation right away. Say. Before that, I would like to confirm something. The culprit who killed Angie may be a different culprit from the one who killed Tenko. Yes. Huh? Huh? If so... What happens in the event there are two murders? By two people? What if they are two blackened? Will we need to find them both at the class trial? That's right. Now that you mention it, that's a good point. What would happen in that yeah. scenario? Huh? What would happen? Madame? What would happen? What would happen? Why'd you look lost too, Madame? I thought you were gonna run things instead of Daddy! I never expected something like this to happen. I don't know what to do. Really, I don't know. Aw oh, man, they're all disorganized. If you can't decide the class trial's objective, then we won't know what to investigate. Father always knows what to do. We should ask him for help. Have you already forgotten? Daddy's in no condition to help us. Oh, never mind. It's all our fault that Daddy ended up like that. It's all your fault, Monofani! Daddy, help! We don't know what to do on our own! We gotta use the power of love! That ought to snap him back to normal! N that won't work. Father is just an empty shell now. That's right! That's not true! Anything is possible with the power of love! You don't understand that, because you've never been loved before, Monodam! Daddy! Daddy, I love you, so please come back to normal! I want to see your father! I love you with all my heart! Oh, are you making me blush? <clears throat> that was not the real one. Here I am. I'm back. Were you good while I was away? Why is he fucking looking the dead one? That's just hilarious. <laughs> Isn't Oh, she's doing it back. Oh, that's fucking gross. <laughs> Man, that vacation was just what I needed. Hey, support you taking time off to relax. Normally, most companies won't even let you take time off to go on vacation. But I was able to do it. The secret is just to leave, whether you get permission or not! Um, uh, wait, so then who's the baldy then? Yeah. Oh, she's a part-timer, got to cover me while I was gone. Hey! Here's your pay! Like we agreed on! Now take it and get out of here! I thought you were supposed to be relaxed. <laughs> he just 
fucking left. Now that that nuisance is out of out of the way, what were you guys talking about again? Ah, that's right. What happens to your votes if they are two black in candidates? I'll answer that. Well, I have an answer for that. It's first come, first what? served. First come, first served. The blacken who killed the first victim to be discovered will be your target. In other words, in other words if the blacken who killed Angie isn't the same one who killed Tenko, then only Angie's killer will be considered the blacken. <clears throat> Basically, Tenko's killer wasted a kill, and Tenko herself is a waste of a victim. Oh, I'll add this to the school regulation so you can review it later. I also updated the Monokuma file. Do your best to investigate this murder too. He just told us the same killer. He literally just said, do your best to investigate this kill too. He basically told us that this is another murder. But it's the same killer. And it's going to be the four people in this room, right? Or was there someone on the floorboards? Well, I guess we'll get to that later. Monokuma File 3 has been updated to another truth Boy, Why everything is gonna go going so smoothly now that Father's running things again. They just got to be able to take a device action. Indecis indecision was just that word. Daddy, you're glowing. You're glowing like a lamp. There's nothing better than being praised by my cute cubs. There's nothing better than spending time with my cute cubs. For as long as you live, I will never let any of you go. Hmm? He just left us behind while he was saying he'd never let us go. Nice. That's why he's so amazing. Please leave me some more, Daddy. I didn't feel comfortable. I did not feel comfortable right uh, reading that line. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, I'm so. To make sense of all that. If Pokemon is a different culprit, then our vote will determine Angie's killer. But we don't even know if this, this is a different culprit, do we? Let's see. True. We should investigate Tenko's death as well. Just in case. How exciting! Uh, finally! Things are heating up! I'm getting so excited! Yeah, you fucking psycho! Shuichi! Shuichi, this is bad. Hmm? This is unquestionably bad. I can't believe Tenko was killed. Everyone's upset and confused. And I'm in no shape to help right now. So this is where you need to step up. Listen, Shuichi. The impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, then let's check the Monokuma file first. Wait a minute. If that's the case then, someone could easily win. Could they not? Like, if a million is being announced, right? Say for example, if I was in a group of 16, you know what I would do if that... As soon as that rule was said, and I knew I didn't kill either of the first two, I'd be like, right, bruh, I'm taking my fucking chances. I'd be like, I didn't kill the first dude, I didn't kill the second dude. Monokuma just told us he doesn't care about the second person, like the second one was a wasted kill, the second one was a wasted victim. I just whip out a knife like, right, okay, she, I'm having you, bitch. I'd be like, what if he did it? I'd be like, huh. What if he did it? <laughs> then do we move on to the second one because he's dead? <laughs> but, eh, we'll get to that. What if he killed the dude who killed Bev? Oh, fuck it, think of that one. Ah, shit. <laughs> Maybe. Anyway, the victim is Tenko Kabashira, the ultimate Akido master. The body was found in the middle empty room on the fourth floor. The time of death is approximately 11 a.m. The only one visible injury is a stab wound to the back of the neck. Hmm. A stab wound on her, on her neck. The same as Angie's cause of hmm. death. It doesn't like it's a coincidence. Maybe it's Angie's oh. curse. C curse? God, not again. Oh. <laughs> hey. That is so fucking cute. That is adorable because she's blushing. Oh, she likes Kaito. Hey. What? Curse? <laughs> Kaito, calm down. <laughs> no way there's a curse! Don't screw around! <laughs> You're the one who's screwing around. Oh, she doesn't have minimum sinister anymore. <laughs> I mean, she'll do it. <laughs> she can get away with it. A dull sound reverberated through the room. 
Are you okay? Kaido, are you okay? My bad, My bad Shuichi. I'm starting to feel bad, but for different reasons. I'm going to get some fresh air. So I'll leave this to you a Maki roll. Kaito left the room. Still a bit wobbly. Um. Should we resume the investigation? Time is of the essence. Correct. True. We haven't time to mourn Tenko's death, as our own lives are at risk. This is... that's true! But Angie and then Tenko... <laughs> and to think earlier I was suspicious of Tenko! I'm sorry, How Tenko. Can this be? It's all Gunter's fault. Gunter failed to protect friends again. God, she's feeling broken right now. Tenko's death caught us all off guard. Everyone is panicking. I have to keep it together. I have to work harder. Because I'm... A detective. Man of Madame. Well, it's too dark in here. We can't investigate even if we wanted it. to. Good to bring candles from other room to make this room bright, no. okay? No, that won't be necessary. Ah. Yeah, that's not necessary at all. Huh? Why? Show him, Kibo. Show him your new power. New power. The gorgeous girl genius have installed a new function in Kibo. God damn it. Just leave it to me. I will become the guiding light that shines on you all. <laughs> shine on, shine on! Shine on, you crazy fucking diamond! <laughs> I love how it just sounds so crazy when he says fucking. <laughs> I love Mew. She's so cool. Damn, girl. Oh, man. Mammaling function. You should have made him like a transformer or something. But it's bright now. So we should hurry and investigate. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Kibo's flashlight function has been added to the troop bullet section in Yonvio Monopad for some reason. Okay. Right. So let's start from left to right. Let's go for the dog first. It's one dog statue used in the seance. I believe it's called the Dog God. During the seance, this wooden statue was on top of the cage. It took four of us to remove it. Hmm. This wooden statue is pretty heavy. Q said it was about 175 pounds. That's about the weight of two girls. What do you know about girls? Even to touch the one beside your uh, mother. Um. <laughs> wow! Maki! What? I'm kidding. Anyway, is this... if this heavy thing was on top of the cage, then Tinker wouldn't have been able to get out easily. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right about that. That didn't sound like you were kidding me earlier. <laughs> the dog statch. Okay. Let's go for the candle. The lit candle. Candles hung on the walls. They're the only source of light in the room. There are no windows in this room, so without the candles it was pitch black. But how did the culprit kill Tenko in complete darkness? I didn't see the monitor. I was wondering how Monokuma knew who did it. But this must have night vision. So we can see exactly what happened. Alright, cool. Oh, there's a board at the back. Cool. Uh, white cloth. We'll go from this then next. <clears throat> it's the white sheet we use from the seance. This was placed on top of the cage. Kia was the one who removed it. Is this... This cloth is pretty thick. It's similar to a window curtain, but it's completely opaque. And on the back, looks like there's a blood stain on it right around the middle of the sheet. But... But no hole in the fabric, which means Tenka wasn't stabbed through the cloth. She was stabbed while underneath the cloth. White sheet has been added to the poop system. Okay. Right. The next thing I want to go to is the hole in the corner. There's a small opening in the corner of the room. It doesn't look big enough for a person to get through. But is still. A hole? Looks like there's space under here too. Oh, hold on. I can see something below. Looks like something dropped down here. What? Something was dropped down there? 
After we check everywhere else, why don't we go into the floorboard and see for okay. ourselves? Right, let's do it. Hole in the corner. Okay. Oh, the cage isn't the thing. All right, cool. We'll look at the romantic circle. <clears throat> it's a magic circle Keo drew on the floor. Well, at least it was. Oh dear. It's been completely stomped over. It's suppose, I suppose it was unavoidable. No. Was this drawn with salt? Yeah. Whenever I perform a seance, I always use salt. They shouldn't work though, right? Because salt is a natural repellent. What? Are you feeling alright? You sound ridiculous. Ridiculous? Ridiculous? I have performed many successful seances. Why? I even had spirits enter my body. Right already. Shut up. I don't want to hear about your stupid delusions. Maki really doesn't beat around the bush. It's kind of refreshing, right. actually. In any case, with all these footprints, I can make out the original it's circle. Blood. We'll find it in Akio's lab. It should be written in the Cage Dog Village document. Hey, hey. Isn't that right, Kyo? He seems depressed. I suppose that makes sense. Okay, magic circle. Cool. Um, is this going to say the same thing as the last one? Kind of talking the walls. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Right. Kibo, you're next. <clears throat> Leave it to me. Leave it to me. I'll become the guiding light that shines on you all. Okay, he's just over there chilling. All right, cool. Let's go to Senko's pod and then talk to all the people. Right. Ah, the cage. That's what the cage is. Okay, cool. <clears throat> this is the cage used in the seance. It looks to be around three feet high and five feet wide. It's a pretty large iron okay. cage. Begin for a person to fit inside. During the seance, Kokichi and I discovered Tenko with the cage. We were supposed to remove it as well. But it was Himiko who rushed in and removed the cage first. Hey. Hey, look at this. Is this. A blood stain in the bottom of the cage. You're probably Tenko's blood, yeah. That's true. Yes, I imagine so. This bladder must have been what made what well, this bladder must have been made when she was what killed. Do you mean? Which means Tenka was killed while she was inside the cage. Okay. I think you're right. Tenka went in the cage before the seance. But when the cage was lifted after the seance, she was already dead. Then if she was stabbed right then when the cage was lifted. That would explain this blood stain, yes. Huh? huh? Perhaps she wasn't killed during the seance, but the exact moment the cage was lifted. That is a possibility. Iron cage being added to the truth bullets. Right now we've got a little rock. Ooh, little rock. Ooh, little rock. Ooh, rock. There's a rock next to Tenko's body. This must be. Please rest your forehead upon this stone marker placed here. It's just a stone I brought from the courtyard. Are you sure it'll work? Certainly, it is merely needed as a marker for her forehead to rest upon. Oh, my this. Okay. Tenko and her forehead on this rock hunched over. Oh, had. She had to make herself small to fit inside the cage. Okay, marker stone. And we've got this wood, and then we'll go for the body. Ah, this floorboard is loose. And it's the one round Tenko. Why? Why is this floorboard loose? I remember correctly. It wasn't like this before. It must have come loose during the seance. Why would it come loose during the seance? A floorboard this thick and heavy wouldn't have come loose easily. Then someone must have loosened it on purpose. Loose floorboard. Is the blood a thing on this one? Nope, just Tenko's bot. Okay. Tenko's dead body. She took a last breath crouched over like this. According to the Monokuma file, her only injury is a stab wound to her neck. This wound was fatal. Mm. This must have caused instant death. I didn't hear a scream during the seance. Ah, wait! Honestly, I will not say it until the seance is over. Would Tenko really keep her mouth shut despite no. the pain? Her death might not be an instant, but she couldn't have gone far before she bled no. out. What do you mean? What's the point? You were concerned about that, right? Okay. 
With a wound this deep, the victim is too shocked to do anything except die. Uh, um, You're speaking from experience? That's obvious. Of course. Quick deaths are my specialty. Well then, that makes By sense. The, way. the real question is, what was she killed with? I don't see a murder weapon around. You're right. I don't see an obvious murder weapon. That could be a clue. Take those last moments. Okay. Now the next thing to do it would be talk to everybody. You first, me, Shuroglani. I said things that made Tenko look suspicious, and now this. I'm sorry, Tenko. Stop it. Cry later. Huh? Because. Crying will bring Tenko back, and if we don't investigate thoroughly, we'll die too. Okay. I need to find the truth and pin down the culprit for Tenko. And all of us. I guess. You're right. Tinka would want us to figure it out so she'd have no regrets. That would be the best way to apologize. Oh, you're faced to be back to me now. Why? I'm going to talk to you last because you're my friend now. Okay, Himiko, you doing another girl? Hey! Himiko, hey, Himiko, be strong, Himiko. Gunta. If you shake Kimiko that much, she's going to break! But she's not talking. It's like Kimiko not even here. She must have been really shocked over Tenko. Let's leave her be for now. Okay. Kimiko. Feel sorry for you, girl. Gunter Gakapo! First Angie, then Tenko. Gunter so ashamed. Why Gunter no could protect friends? Okay. Kyo? Could he kill even? That cannot be. Why? Why did I this? Kyo, I know the murder was pretty shocking. Of course. of course I am shocked about that as well. But why did the seance fail? We performed all the steps flawlessly. It seems he seems more concerned by that than the murder. Uh, yes. Oh. If we perform the JK's trial again and summon Tenko spirit this, this time. Is Cut the crap. Just tell me what happened during the seance. Both you and Sweetie were present, right? And did she get killed during the seance? See, yes. True. It may be best to move past what happened, to know why the seance failed. So. Whatever. Just hurry up. At the time, in order to begin the seance, we had Tenko, the spiritual medium, position herself as a turtle within the magic circle, so her head touched the marker stone. Then Chuichi and Kokichi placed the cage over Tenko. And after that I placed the white cloth over the cage. Then all four of us placed the wooden statue of the dog god atop of the cage. Afterwards we stood in the four corners of the room. Kokichi and Suichi blew out the candles. Yes. And finally we all sang the cage child song. The seance should have been complete, oh. but... Ah, now that you mention it, I remember hearing a strange sound during the song. Oh, that's a long last dog little... Oh, and it went thunk. There you go. How many will there be by dawn? Will there be two, or just one? Will God in last long song? It is a mystery to me as well. I thought someone may have tripped, perhaps. That was pretty loud sound for someone tripping. Perhaps Keo knows what do something. You mean? And then what happened? Ah, yes. oh, well, we called out to her, but no reply came. I had Shuichi and Kokichi relight the candles. And then we removed all the items from within the magic circle, in the opposite order. First, all four of us removed the dog statue. Next, I took off the white cloth, and then... He made her run over to the cage, and the moment she lifted it... Then it sounds like Tenko was definitely killed during the seance. But would it not be difficult in such darkness? Besides, she was inside the cage. Yes. Then, then when was she killed? Oh, that's... Yes, that is a problem. Yes. And there is another problem. And that is, why ever did the seance fail? I simply cannot figure it out. Perhaps. Maybe someone moved from that corner? 
Should someone else sneak in here? What's the point? Obviously. Since this seance was clearly a sham. Maki never was one to pull her punches. Okay. Hey! Maki, we finished investigating up here. Perhaps we could check another the floor? Way. It seems pretty dark down there. What should we use for That's light? True. Let's bring a candle. With Kibo's life from up here, that should be fine. Then I'll go get a candle. Move that floorboard so we can go okay. down. Okay, got it. I pulled off some of the floorboards near the hole and took the candle from Maki. Then, we carefully made our way through the hole and under the floor. This is a lot more spacious than I thought. You can move pretty easily on all fours. Okay. Let's look around for clues. Well, it looked pretty stupid if we found no clues after crawling around in this dusty uh, place. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so the other things to look at is the beam, the beam, the droplet of blood, this. Not the big blood. Okay, big blood too. And the sickle. Okay, cool. We'll look at the sickle first. There's a sickle here, and there's blood all over it. Okay. <clears throat> the blood on the sickle is fresh. This is it. This is the murder weapon. Is this... this came from my research lab. Huh? It did? Well. A sickle can be used to assassinate a target. It can be thrown without losing any lethality. lethality. And you can hide it under your clothes well. too. If she was attacked with this, she wouldn't stand a chance. The blade's about six inches. That's right. And since Tenko was in the cage, she wouldn't have been able to defend herself. But, but even if this is our murder weapon, how did the culprit attack Tenko in the cage? The blade could fit through the gaps in the cage, but could he reach her That's neck? True. The cage is three feet high. If you were stab it with a six-inch blade, well, it would depend on Tenko's posture, but I don't think it's impossible. Then a posture is the hey. question. Hey, if weapon is down here, the culprit must have thrown it away, That's right? True. Perhaps after killing Tenko, the culprit threw the sickle onto the floor in the dark. Or they could have been on the floor the entire time. Either of those is possible. Okay. Is the drip, drip, drop, drop not a thing? No. A little blessing. Blood dripping from the gaps in the floorboards. Fresh blood. This is definitely Tenko's. Okay. Dried blood. Dried blood? Dried blood? There's a blood stain on the ground underneath the loose floorboards. But that's pretty far away from Tenko's from where Tenko's blood is dripping. It's under the same floorboard, just at different ends. Why is there blood here? Hey, hey the back of this floorboard has blood on it too. Oh. You're right. There's a little bit of blood on the underside of this floorboard. Did Tenko's blood spatter when she was got That's killed? True. I wonder. I can't really be sure okay. yet. But these blood stains here are completely dry. There must be some other reason these particular stains are dry. Dry blood. Loose floorboard. Okay. Cut cross piece. Oh. oh, look. Part of the cross piece that supports the floorboard. It's cut That's off. True. That's... It's near the loose floorboard. And the portion missing is about the same width, too. And from, and from what I can see of it... That's true. It wasn't broken off naturally. But this was cut by someone. There should be saws in the warehouse, so they could have used that. The question is why? Another cross piece is supporting the floorboard, so it might not fall and this portion is uh, this portion is missing. So what purpose did this serve? The floorboard beneath Tenko's body is loose, and the cross piece supporting it has been cut. If the culprit did all of this, then why? Cross piece! Okay, the last thing to look at is no holy 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 some of the wood has corroded and is broken off so you can see into the next room this is the wall of the empty room right looks like there's wood along the wall this part is rotted away 
It looks like natural rot. This hole wasn't made intentionally. But I can get into the next room through here. That's true. If I remember correctly, the next door is also empty, right? And then the culprit could have gone from room to room by moving under here instead of using the no. hallway. True, but it would have been difficult moving around to the floor. We did all right because we had a light. Without that, it'd be pitch black. That might make it impossible to move around no. in here. Then they could have used a light like we're doing now. True. They use a light to move around under the floor? Is that possible? I think we finished investigating here. Is that alright? Maki, you wanna head back up? I'm glad you asked. I'm starting to get fed up with all this dust. Okay. After Maki and I crawled out from under the floor, we put the floorboards back and returned to our investigation. By the way. We've only been investigating this room. You sure that's wise? Huh? What do you mean? Because. If Angie and Tenko have different killers, then the black one we need to vote right. for is. The culprit for the first murder. The culprit who killed Angie. And that's what Monokuma mm -hmm. said. So instead of investigating Tenko's death, Shouldn't we be investigating Angie's? Uh, okay. Yes, of course. But... But this is bigger than the killing game. For the sake of the two who died. I need to reveal the truth of both their deaths. Mm. I don't understand why you feel that way. But if you plan investigating the other crime scene again, we should probably hurry. Okay. When I came out to the hallway, a scene more surprising than I could ever imagine unfolded. <laughs> what a dick! <laughs> Fucking hate you! <laughs> Did I surprise you? Were you gonna scream and cry in terror? What are you doing? Oh, sorry, I'm just a little lightheaded from the blood loss. Yeah, this is real blood. Okay, so what are you doing? I got curious about something, so I decided to search the empty room next door. Then suddenly, <laughs> I stepped through the floorboard. You stepped through a floorboard? So Jeez, that got me good. Because of this, I tripped and fell pretty hard. Got a minute? If you're going to lose consciousness, then do it after you tell us everything. Ah. Oh, sorry, my bad. I guess there was no cross piece supporting this floorboard, so I kind of stepped through. <laughs> my bad luck. The cross piece was gone? Does that mean... Oh. Huh? Uh -huh. What the killing game is all about! No oh, shit. Killing game fans, hold your head high and watch with your own two eyes. Baseball, soccer, mobile games, they're all nothing compared to the killing game. The killing game just can't be beat. Interesting. Behold, students, the entrance to the trial grounds. We can't even investigate. I guess time's up. Oh man, it's because of you guys I didn't have enough time to check something. What were you trying to check? See? I wanted to research the sounds again, so I brought this document with me. But unfortunately... Man. I couldn't find anything new that could be used as a clue. Q perfectly reenacted the sounds as what was written in the document. He drew the magic circle the exact same way as in the picture. No he didn't. No he didn't. He didn't. On the room that we did, he drew, like, salt lines to each of the corner. He didn't do that. He did that in there, but it's not there in there. Not only that, he used the same exact tools, too. Nothing suspicious about this whole thing. Well, I want to check the finer details, but I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> that, that, that's the last trial, so see you there. Kokichi left, the blood loss clearly affecting his footing a bit. Bloody Kokichi. Uh, um, uh, let's go too. That's true. Yeah, okay. Is Maki nervous? I see, so even she gets nervous sometimes. What are you staring at? 
Do you want to die? Well, she's got that on roll. And let's go back to the room. Uh, the Going to the courtyard, right? Okay. Didn't take as long to get here at all. And the power of editing makes it all worth it. But I've only just known to go until he got his beans out. It would appear we've all gathered, but it seems they are less and less of us. Less friends mean it's much harder to solve mystery. Don't worry. Well, don't worry, I'm sure you've gotten a little smarter by now, Gunter. Yeah, Gunter do his best to help. I want you to graduate from super idiot level to at least kaido idiot level. What? Hey! What's that supposed to mean? Oh, more importantly, are you okay, Kaido? Yeah, I'm feeling better now. But wow, Maki Roll sure does pack a punch. It's your fault. You don't need to worry about uh, dwindling numbers. Only dipshits have died so far. I know it's a tall order, but try to use your brains this time so I don't have to use mine. These golden brain cells of mine are a gift to the entire world. It's as though every time you open your mouth, you become less likable. Nah, she becomes more likable to me, Kuridi Kyo. Otua, please. Please lend us your power. It may be difficult for us to rely on Otua. Concerning what happened to Angie, whom Otua loved most of all. She should have rely relied on Otua in the first place. But seriously, it's kind of funny seeing a robot believe in God. Especially Atua. Also... So what? Robots can believe in God? Indeed. Actually, before I even met Angie, I had a similar experience. Hearing voices, I mean. <laughs> you might call it in a voice. It tells me what to do when I'm in trouble. How long are you going to say, stay, say that for? I don't want ghosts don't matter right now. Jeez. Yeah, the trial this time is going to be rough. We got caught in Monokuma's huh? trap. His trap? Right, right. He probably made the fourth floor so scary on purpose to prevent me from investigating. Right already. No, he didn't. Yeah, yeah there's no way. Hey, so he Shuichi, say something. Well, what should I say? Well, mind that. <laughs> what should I say? I'm fucking gonna go forward, dude. Ignore the rest. I like it doing it an hour and a half intervals, because it actually makes more sense. It's, probably, it's actually fit perfectly well for this game as well, you know? Like, I, I, I like, after the Clash Child, we'll spend all the items a bit, we enter free time, kind of ends, we play the second half of free time, there's a murder, there you go, and then it's investigation time, the trial begins, we play for half through the trial, and then when the intermission comes along, and then the real trial continues, you know, it, it kind of wraps it all up nicely. As usual, we walk toward the elevator in silence. As soon as we remain as soon as we as soon as we remaining survivors stepped aboard. We descended. Perhaps because there were fewer of us, the elevator seemed to move faster. And so we fell. Faster and faster downward into the black. Wouldn't it move faster if there were more of you? <laughs> or is it because like a pulley system works? So it's like the pu the pulley system can work easier because there's less people. That probably makes more sense. The other video stopped and just like always, the doors parted slowly. The light that shines on us from the other side, the bright light of our future. Or is it? Boy, they really look depressed. That's because there's even less participants oh. now. Don't say they look depressed. You'll make Monodam sad. <laughs> as much as I'd love to keep hearing the adorable back and forth. Let's hurry up and get this started. At least, this class trial will begin. At last, this class trial will begin. I hope you enjoy it to your heart's content. The third class trial was about to begin. Angie Yonaga, the ultimate artist. She creates the Ultimate Academy Student Council to try to prevent the killing game. Then, Tenko Kabishira, the ultimate Aikido master. She hated men, but I knew that she hated this terrible killing game even more. The two who were killed were both trying to stop the killing. Damn, only two people left on the first page. And who was the one who killed them? Was it one person? No one dead on the second page. Two different people? 
to it on the final page. We need to pin that down in the class trial. In order to live, we have to find the truth. And I will fight for it. I will fight with truth and lies in this class trial. Which will have to wait until we return from Silent Hill 2. Because we like spooky. And that went pretty well. Hopefully it doesn't glitch so I don't have to re record all that crap. Probably should use more save files. But that's for PC games just in case shit hits the fan. But anyway though. <clears throat> that is all there is going to be for today. As always. This is Rixalite signing out. So. There's Q. Good music.